There's a really great analogy to help understand manifestation. And that is like going to a restaurant. You sit down at a table, you look at the menu, and you make a decision what you want to eat depending on the type of restaurant you go to. You choose the type of food, maybe even appetizer. You tell the waiter he comes to you or she comes to you. You tell him what you want, maybe, maybe even some specific details. And then you let the servant, the waiter, go and give that order to the chef. And the chef prepares the meal, does all he can, takes a certain amount of time depending on what you order. And then he gives it back to the server and the server brings you the meal. Now, it can happen that effortlessly and that's what meditation and uh, manifestation is. We make an order, getting clear on something that we desire, some kind of order we want to make. The problem is sometimes when we make an order and we give it to the server, we can't just let it go. We have to try and control how, how it's going to happen, how the chef prepares the meal, how long is it going to take, it has to happen this way, all those different kind of details. But that just makes it all forced and we get in our own way and interrupt the natural flow of the chef, the ultimate, the master chef bringing that to us, that clear intention that we created, that clear order. <clears throat> this analogy is also pretty effective because when you're creating an intention of something you want to order, like at a restaurant, you go to the restaurant given uh, details on what kind of food you want, whether it be like a sushi restaurant or uh, a burger joint or a Chinese restaurant, whatever it may be, you have a general idea of what kind of food you're going to receive. But there are some things you don't have to know and some things that are pretty given or uh, cherries on top, things that are like the silverware or the condiments that are there, the um, water, the refillable water and a drink that come with it. Those things we don't have to they're forced, they're, they're included, they're kind of cheery on top. So I find what, a good way to understand manifestation and allowing yourself to be served is to get clear on what kind of restaurant you want to go to, what kind of order you want to make, what, what kind of meal do you want, whether that's a relationship, a house, an apartment, a job, uh, shoot, even maybe just a certain type of drink or something surprising you, something that surprises you. And then let it go and allowing your, allow yourself to be served. Don't follow the, the waiter to the, uh, to the back to, to talk to the, to the chef. Maybe, maybe that's another thing you can, you can do in meditation, but, uh, you know, meeting and talking to the master chef. Um, but yeah, hope that helps with anybody curious about manifestation and the ability to surrender, to let go, to get clear on what you want and create that balance between intention of what you want and uh, the surrender and allowing yourself to be served that without getting in your own way.